Section 2.4 Understanding Hedge Funds, Hedge Funds, Strategies and Techniques for Advanced Investing, 2.4 Quantitative Strategies, Systematic Trading, also known as rule-based or quantitative trading, refers to the use of predefined rules and algorithms to make trading decisions. It involves the systematic execution of trades based on a set of predetermined criteria, without relying on discretionary judgment. Algorithmic models are a key component of systematic trading and are used to generate trading signals and execute trades. Here's an overview of systematic trading and algorithmic models. Systematic trading, objective. The primary objective of systematic trading is to generate profits by identifying and capitalizing on patterns, trends, or inefficiencies in financial markets. Rules-based approach. Systematic trading relies on predefined rules and quantitative models to analyze market data, generate trading signals, and execute trades. These rules are typically based on historical data analysis, statistical models, technical indicators, or fundamental factors. Automation. Systematic trading is often automated, allowing for the rapid execution of trades and the ability to respond to market conditions in real time. Risk management. Systematic trading typically incorporates risk management techniques such as stop-loss orders or position sizing rules, to control risk and limit potential losses, algorithmic models. Development process, algorithmic models are developed using programming languages and statistical techniques to process large amounts of data and identify patterns or relationships, data analysis, algorithmic models utilize historical and real-time market data to identify market trends, price patterns, volatility, or other factors that may inform trading decisions. Signal generation. Based on the analysis of market data, algorithmic models generate trading signals, indicating when to buy, sell, or hold a particular security or instrument. Trade execution. Once trading signals are generated, algorithmic models can automatically execute trades based on predefined parameters, such as price thresholds, volume constraints, or time based triggers, monitoring and optimization. Algorithmic models are continuously monitored and refined to adapt to changing market conditions and to improve performance over time. Advantages of systematic trading and algorithmic models, objective and rule-based. Systematic trading eliminates emotional bias and subjective decision-making. Relying on predefined rules and data-driven analysis, speed and efficiency, algorithmic models can execute trades rapidly. Taking advantage of short-lived market opportunities and minimizing execution delays, Backtesting and simulation, historical data can be used to backtest algorithmic models, allowing for the evaluation of performance and refinement before deploying them in live trading. Scalability, systematic trading can be easily scaled across multiple securities, markets, or time frames, allowing for efficient portfolio management, risks and challenges, model risk, algorithmic models are subject to model risk, as their effectiveness relies on historical patterns or relationships that may not persist in the future. Technical risks. Systematic trading is reliant on robust and reliable technology infrastructure to ensure timely and accurate data processing, trade execution, and risk management. Market risks. Systematic trading strategies are exposed to market risks, such as volatility, liquidity constraints, or sudden changes in market conditions that may impact performance. It's worth noting that systematic trading and algorithmic models are widely used by hedge funds, proprietary trading firms, and institutional investors. Successful implementation requires expertise in quantitative analysis, programming, risk management, and a deep understanding of financial markets. Quantitative analysis and statistical methods play a crucial role in various areas of finance and investment. Here's an overview of how they are utilized, investment research, Data analysis. Quantitative analysis involves analyzing large sets of historical and current market data, financial statements, economic indicators, and other relevant information to identify patterns, correlations, and trends. Financial modeling. Statistical methods are used to build financial models that help assess the fair value of securities, estimate future financial performance, and evaluate investment opportunities. Risk analysis. Quantitative techniques, such as value at risk, VAR, models, stress testing, and Monte Carlo simulations, are used to measure and manage portfolio risk, identify potential downside scenarios, and optimize risk-return trade-offs, portfolio management, asset allocation, 
Quantitative analysis aids in determining optimal asset allocation by considering risk preferences, return expectations, historical asset class performance, and correlation analysis, portfolio optimization, statistical methods. Such as mean variance optimization, factor models, or risk parity strategies, help construct portfolios that aim to maximize returns for a given level of risk or achieve specific investment objectives. Performance evaluation. Quantitative techniques are used to assess the performance of investment portfolios through measures like risk-adjusted returns, tracking error, and attribution analysis. Trading strategies, technical analysis, statistical methods are applied to historical price and volume data to identify chart patterns, trends, support and resistance levels, and other indicators used in technical analysis, quantitative trading, Quantitative analysis is used to develop algorithmic trading strategies that generate trading signals based on predefined rules and statistical models. High-frequency trading, statistical arbitrage, market microstructure analysis, and predictive modeling are utilized to exploit short-term market inefficiencies and execute high-frequency trades, risk management, risk measurement. Quantitative analysis is employed to measure and quantify various types of risks, including market risk, credit risk, liquidity risk, and operational risk, stress testing. Statistical models and simulations are used to evaluate the impact of extreme market events on portfolios and assess their resilience under adverse conditions. Scenario analysis. Quantitative techniques help assess the potential outcomes and risks associated with specific scenarios, such as changes in interest rates, economic indicators, or geopolitical events, financial modeling and valuation, Discounted cash flow, DCF, analysis, statistical techniques are applied to estimate future cash flows, discount rates, and terminal values to determine the intrinsic value of a security or investment, option pricing models. Quantitative analysis is used to derive the fair value of options and other derivatives based on factors such as underlying asset price, volatility, time to expiration, and interest rates, event studies, Statistical methods are used to analyze the impact of specific events, such as earnings announcements or mergers, on stock prices and market reactions. Quantitative analysis and statistical methods enable investors and financial professionals to make data-driven decisions, identify opportunities, manage risks, and optimize investment strategies. However, it's important to interpret the results of quantitative analysis with caution and consider the limitations and assumptions of the models used. High-frequency trading, HFT, and market-neutral strategies are two distinct approaches in the realm of trading and investing. Here's an overview of each strategy. High-frequency trading, HFT, high-frequency trading involves the use of sophisticated algorithms and high-speed technology to execute a large number of trades within very short time frames. HFT strategies aim to profit from small price discrepancies and market inefficiencies that exist for only brief moments. Here are key characteristics of HFT, speed and technology, low latency, HFT relies on ultra-fast trading infrastructure to minimize latency and execute trades within fractions of a second, co-location, HFT firms often locate their servers in close proximity to exchanges to further reduce latency and gain an execution speed advantage, trading techniques, market making, HFT firms often act as market makers, continuously providing liquidity by posting bid and ask prices and quickly adjusting them to reflect changing market conditions. Arbitrage, HFT strategies may involve exploiting price differences across different trading venues or exploiting temporary pricing inefficiencies between related securities. Data analysis, order book analysis, HFT algorithms analyze the order book, which contains the list of buy and sell orders for a particular security, to identify patterns and execute trades based on market depth and liquidity. Tick data analysis. HFT strategies leverage historical and real-time tick data to identify short-term market patterns, price movements, and order flow dynamics. Risk management, risk controls. HFT firms employ risk management measures to prevent excessive losses, including position limits, stop-loss orders, and market risk monitoring systems, regulatory compliance, HFT activities are subject to regulations and oversight to ensure fair and orderly markets. Market neutral strategies, market neutral strategies aim to generate returns by exploiting relative price movements between related securities while maintaining a neutral position in the overall market direction. 
These strategies often involve pairing long and short positions to hedge against market risk. Key features of market neutral strategies include pair trading, pair selection. Market neutral strategies identify pairs of related securities, such as two stocks in the same industry, that historically exhibit a strong correlation. Statistical analysis. Quantitative analysis is used to assess the historical relationship between the selected pairs, including mean reversion. Cointegration, or other statistical measures, long-short positions, market-neutral strategies involve taking a long position in one security and a short position in the other to profit from the convergence or divergence of their prices, risk management, market neutrality. Market-neutral strategies aim to reduce exposure to broad market movements by maintaining balanced long and short positions. Factor risk management. These strategies typically focus on managing risks related to the specific factors that drive the performance of the selected pairs, such as industry-specific events or macroeconomic variables, alpha generation, statistical signals. Market-neutral strategies rely on statistical signals or proprietary models to identify mispricings or deviations in the relationship between the paired securities. Mean reversion. These strategies often capitalize on the expectation that prices of the paired securities will converge over time, generating profits from the correction of temporary price dislocations, arbitrage and market inefficiencies, exploiting relative value. Market-neutral strategies seek to profit from relative mispricings or valuation discrepancies between related securities rather than relying on the absolute direction of the market, hedging market risk, by taking both long and Short positions, market-neutral strategies aim to hedge against systematic market risk and focus on capturing relative performance. It's important to note that both high-frequency trading and market-neutral strategies are complex and require advanced technology. Quantitative analysis and risk management expertise. These strategies are typically employed by institutional investors, hedge funds, or proprietary trading firms with access to significant resources and market connectivity.